Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside the kibitz room. Yes, the kibitz room. Right there, the kibitz room. Pronounced kibitz apparently. And it is a Jewish jelly here to do their GBMF food challenge, their sandwich challenge. So if you're wondering what GBMF stands for, great big mother something. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, so for this big, big, big sandwich challenge, uh, it's apparently about six and a half pounds according to Randy Santel. You have a giant deli sandwich featuring corned beef, pastrami, turkey, all these other meats. And then you have a whole bunch of variety of their pickles. You do have to pick two of their sides. They weigh about a pound each, um, which includes like coleslaw, potato salad, etc. Um, but that's pretty much it. So you have one hour to complete the challenge. Um, it looks, sounds really delicious. If you fail, I believe it's about $75 or something like that. So hopefully won't do that today, but we'll head on in. Let's have some fun. Let's eat some food. It's been a long time since we did a deli sandwich challenge, especially like a Jewish jelly kind of thing. So I love it. When you're in the area here in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, yes, in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, let's have some fun. Let's eat some food. Let's go eat the GBMF and have fun. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Um, so we have the two sides. I went with two coleslaws. This looks pretty good. Definitely some nice portions. Um, normally only have one of each of their pickles, but I got two of each of the pickles for some reason. I guess they're being extra generous today, including the pickled tomatoes, and they call them half sours, full sours, different pickles. Kind of an interesting variety, definitely some cool colors. And then we have the giant sandwich, which is the best way for me to hold it to show you it is like, like that, if I hold the bottom. They cut it in half, but we essentially have um, their brisket, we have the corned beef, or the pastra, uh, yeah, corned beef, we then have roast beef, I think, the turkey, and pastrami. So the five different types of meat all looks really, really good. There also is lettuce, tomato, Swiss cheese, and coleslaw all on this. And then it's all on what I believe is a rye bread. But anyway, it looks really good. It smells really good, actually. Um, so yeah, we might as well just start here momentarily. Uh, we have 45 minutes to complete the challenge. I believe I might have said an hour earlier, so I correct that. 45 minutes to complete the challenge. Uh, but that's about that. And if we do, we get the $75 meal for free. So we're gonna start here just momentarily. All right, so how about we get started? Um, there's no really specific place to get started. I'll probably just start with some of the sandwich, but I'll start with this end of this sandwich. All right, guys. Let's get a rockin' and a rollin'. So how we start, we'll say the count of five. I don't wanna like Just do that. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Mayonnaise. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at the Kibitz Room. Yes, the Kibitz Room in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, which is just outside of Philadelphia. Here taking on their, I'll just say sandwich challenge, because really I can't pronounce the name. It is very, in, well, it's inappropriate. But anyway, here it is, a Jewish deli with a monstrous Jewish deli sandwich challenge, featuring a big deli sandwich, uh, your couple sides, and then some delicious pickles. Well, lots of pickles. <laughs> I'm gonna try their house made secret mustard. Alright, did you want to keep the boat or not? Mmm. That's really good. Yeah. So we did have 45 minutes to complete this challenge, um, but I will say it was very big. It was very heavy, deceivingly so. When I first heard about this challenge, I heard it was about six and a half pounds. And I was thinking to myself, like, how could that be? Because sometimes challenges, you know, they're supposed to be five pounds and they come out like four, but otherwise a challenge come that's supposed to be five pounds might come out at eight pounds. But I'm thinking to myself, you know, if they're weighing out the meats, you know, you got about a you know half pound of each, plus you got cheeses, tomatoes, you know, all the breads, the sides. I was like, it can't be that big, can it? Well, sure enough, when it came out, it was a definite good, I'd say six and a half pounds. Very heavy sandwich, lots and lots of pickles, and those sides were surprisingly heavy despite them looking like a small container. There's actually a lot of food.
Now you could choose like coleslaw, you could choose potato salad, you could choose um, pasta salad. I went with the coleslaw, just kind of personal preference, nothing other than personal preference. Um, but I really do also like coleslaws and I like deli sandwiches. So this was a really cool challenge and a cool pairing that I was really looking forward to trying. Here's the part of the sandwich I'm really excited for. Corned beef, brisket. Is it brisket? Yeah, pastrami has some tart. Correction, pastrami and brisket. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Don't want people to kill me. Oh no. You get like the peppercorns, cloves. Pastrami is where it's at. I think we're about five minutes in. We're coming on five minutes. And about half the chef is gone. Give you a visual. Voila. This was a Jewish deli, so you know they didn't really have pork items, but let me know down below your favorite kind of deli sandwich. Honestly, I think mine probably is like a Reuben. I love both corned beef, I loved pastrami, so anything with either of those meats on it for myself is absolutely an A1. I'll try a bite of the pickle. Oh, that was a sour pickle. A city pickle. That's a lot milder. All right, round two. The actual flavors of the meat were really nice. You could tell that they made like all the roast beef and everything in house. Uh, it was like kind of like a medium rare, which I really enjoyed. Um, I loved the uh, peppercorns that you got on the pastrami as well. Very, very delicious on the outside. The turkey wasn't bad. And of course, I mean, you know, the, both the breads and veggies were good. The first thing that I've seen is how this is great. Now, I was hoping to get to try the pickles, try the coleslaw as well, and if I do, of course, I'll kind of touch on the flavor and consistency of them. Hi, everyone, so I think we're coming up at MSM. It is very delicious. I am enjoying the meats. The pastrami, I think, is definitely my favorite. But the corned beef and all the other ones are really nice as well. I'm enjoying that mustard, that Neil's secret recipe is definitely good mustard. Um, and then yeah, we got lots of pickles, lots of cool soda cup, so no shortage of food. I think I actually underestimated this one a little bit. Is it around where you think that's six pounds? I like to get into those a little bit better, a bit more drug though. But with that everybody, I believe that's pretty much the majority of the info I have for you. Like we said, a very big deli sandwich, um, cool area, well known location. Uh, the little kibitz room has been in Cherry Hill for like years, 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 years. Very well known. Oh, and their mustard was super delicious. But with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. 
Did you ever eat here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Probably the best like corned beef pastrami, like Jewish style deli in southern New Jersey. Like without having to go into Philly or North Jersey, it's kind of the best like deli around. Sandwich. Just the big money section again. Look at these freaking pickles. And pickled tomatoes. Does it a lot. That's some weight. I've never had a pickled tomato before. These pickles are bitter. Some of these are really bitter or sour. Yeah. Interesting. Money part of the sandwich right there, guys. Money. Strani. Brisket. Oh, yeah. Like I said, that's where it's at. I think we're about 14 and a half minutes in. Something like that. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just going by the time I can't remember. How are we doing for time? No, but what, I'm just curious, what, what is it? Half hour? Yeah, it's here about 14 minutes. So I think on my time estimate, I'll Try this uh, pickled tomato. Maybe a good idea to try it sooner than later. Very interesting item though. Never seen one before. Um, it's very interesting. It 
It's very uh, bitter. Definitely new, new flavors and experiences in today's challenge. Interesting. Yeah, I was saying that's what me want to say for last. <laughs> Randy liked it. I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah. I it's interesting. Juicy. Very interesting. It's juicy. I'll enjoy another one of these pickled tomatoes. My favorite thing on the challenge so far. It's interesting. What? Juicy. Juicy. I remember you guys shot it, but I bet this made a shot out. Missed it. It's probably juiced already. <laughs> They mentioned maybe I maybe I did maybe I did get a spicy pickle. This one's very spicy. Done, I believe. It's about uh, I think it's 24 minutes 55 seconds, something around there. We'll just double check, clarify we're all finished, but should we go? Is that good? That's good. All right, so for that, we do this for free. I guess we do get a t shirt and we do get our picture up on the wall of fame. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, really cool sandwich. Definitely a big challenge. Bigger than I expected. I have some heat going from that last pickle that was pretty dang spicy. Well, but yeah, like I said, really delicious. The pickled tomato was very interesting. I've never had one of those in my life. Sandwiches were great. I really, really, really enjoyed the pastrami. Great flavors, those peppercorns, everything. Roast beef is really nice, cooked perfectly. And uh, yeah, guys, no complaints. So with that, huge thanks to everybody here at Kibitz. Really enjoyed it. Cool place here in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. I believe we're about one of maybe like five or six winners, something like that. Um, so pretty dang cool. But uh, yeah, so everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, the next time you have it, I'm hungry, happy eating. And uh, that, i show that. Let me show Commit room. Good stuff. Got some advertising. And that, everyone, until next time, have a lovely day. Everyone, so here we are. Um, again, I don't really know what this area is called, but they have like the Liberty Bell in there. In there, Liberty Bell. Uh, if you're not familiar, Liberty Bell is a big bell which has a big crack in it, but it's very famous. Here we have which Aaron believes to be the original City Hall. Is that correct? 
Maybe, Hopefully. maybe where they wrote the, you did something the uh, Declaration of Independence. Perhaps something along those lines, and we have the Independence Visitor Center there. We have some National Constitution Center here, um, but a big green space. And then, Aaron, you're saying that this here is a, a caveat to the original White House. Is that correct? Yeah, I believe they like did some excavation here, and they found like the original like framing to what was like the White House when it was the capital, when Philadelphia was the capital in the U.S. Yeah, because you said Philadelphia was the first capital of the U.S., is that correct? To my knowledge, yes. I'm not a historian, but <laughs> I believe it was the first capital and then New York and then D.C. We're just going to speak like it, this is the truth, and if it's far wrong, somebody can correct me down oh, below. I'm sure many people will. <laughs> Here we got some, uh, I don't know, just mention about the first bank in the United States. Uh, whiskey rebellions, all kinds of things. I could read it, but we'll get. I'll, uh, maybe I'll read it after. There you go. Federal government moved from New York City to Philadelphia in 1790. So maybe it was the second. Years of continuous debate over where the location's na uh, nation's capital uh, contributed to the vibe between the north and the north and the south. I didn't know that. Um, delegates favored a site among the Palma. Potomac River between Maryland and Virginia, both slave states, northern delegates favored New York or Philadelphia. Alexander Hamilton was eager to have Congress pass a bill that would allow the federal government to resume the state's huge financial debt uh, from the Revolutionary War. A compromise was reached in exchange for Southern support of his debt relief bill. Hamilton and his supporters voted in favor of designating Philadelphia as the temporary capital for the period of 10 years when the seat of the government would move to Washington, D.C. Pretty cool. So here we have the remnants of the uh, president's house, which is pretty cool. Pretty unique. It's uh, it's impressive, man. You know they can find such a thing. You know, so many dear, you know, years later, through the the archaeological adventures, and uh, obviously we're talking about um, excavations in relationship to the site of the present Liberty Bell Center. So main house, presence office, kitchen, servants' dining hall, stables, Liberty Bell Center. Pretty cool. All right, and here we have the Liberty Bell. Um, there's a big, like I said, there's a lineup to wait, so we're not going to go in. Um, I was actually here in 2018. I did see the Liberty Bell. I stood where those people were. Uh, there is a big crack in it. Again, that's kind of what the Liberty Bell is most noted for. Um, what I will say, and what I don't remember, though, is I don't know where the picture of me with the Liberty Bell would have ended up. But anyway, 2018, back in the day, and there you go, guys. Liberty Bell. All right, guys, and here we have what is the Old City Hall, which is used by the U.S. Supreme Court. Dates of use basically looks like 1800s to 1850s, which is this building right here, this one right here, then this building right here in front of us, which is definitely the longest and largest of the buildings, is the Independence Hall, which is built as the Pennsylvania State House. It looks like it was mostly used from, I guess, the 1850s to the a, uh, 1970s, or pretty much 80s. Then we have the Congress Hall, which is this building right here, which was built as the county courthouse. And I don't know if it follows the same years or not, but nonetheless, pretty cool. These are, again, very well like noted buildings normally you can go in them i'm not really sure what's going on with them right now why you can't construct i don't know I'll call it construct uh, maybe we can go in the grounds I and mean, we'll go see the grounds but uh yeah pretty cool i know i definitely came in one of these buildings before so here at the back of the independence hall you can uh do like a tour which maybe we'll maybe we'll do we'll see what it looks like but yeah kind of the back they have a little museum there here they have some uh I guess what a, I don't know if it is John Barry, Commodore John Barry statue. We're facing the wrong way, obviously, but yeah, cool little, uh, cool little spot. And a little bit of a close up of all these buildings. And we just kind of were in this building here where we found out um, this is where they actually basically did a lot of the discussions and whatever about figuring out America. So 
cool, whatever. And it was from 1990 to 800 that they, or yeah, 1800, that Philadelphia was the nation's capital as a temporary thing until they built Washington, D.C. And yeah, that's kind of some of the, the main interesting things. And apparently in the late 1700s, Philadelphia was the place to be. I think it still could be the place to be. Definitely. It's a cool spot. It's a, it offers a lot. I and mean, when your hair looks like this from the wind, it's happening. Hey, guess what? You rock. Yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.